Ladies and gentlemen, standing in for Pop Daddy right now, Mr. Mason. What? Demo! Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to make a little bit of what they call kind of like a pesto for my armadillo eggs, or rather my cosmic meatballs. When you do your green onions, you want to make sure you do not put the rubber band inside of the uh, chipper shredder, no, inside of the uh, chopper. Whee! Okay! Nice chop there. Ah, that's interesting looking, isn't it? That should just about you do it. also need some garlic. So this recipe calls for one clove of garlic. You know, that looks kind of lonely, so you know we might as well just have two cloves of garlic. So two cloves of garlic, and that's all we need. You know, except except three cloves of garlic and that's all I need is this clove and this clove and this clove and that's all we need you know you know except except this except four cloves of garlic so we got four cloves of garlic nice even balance you know and uh, you know with four you know you might as well just have five you know and uh, you know five is once again you know an, an odd number so we got six six cloves of garlic that's it that's all we're gonna have okay that's all we need oops oops Whoops. Take it out. All right, we're going to make a sofrito. That is a smoking hot pan. Okay. Get that nice and coated. That is hot. And then we take... I'll add a little salt. Woo. Only some of you are going to recognize. Always keep some We're just trying to sweat these off a little bit. This is an Italian sofrito. Normally I have a little carrots in there. Let me put that there. You notice there's no garlic in there yet because we're going to make a little well there. I can smell some of that barbecue flavor coming off of that grease. When we put Gonna put our garlic right there. And a little bit of red pepper flake. Also called Bootsy Collins. This is a unique flavor when you do it in this order. I'm going to bring all this to one side. Introduce another ingredient. A little more olive oil. Oh, that smell is wonderful. That is parcel cilantro and Italian parsley mixed up. I'm going to do something else unique. There is a little bit of my Bill Street red and wet. Normally in Italian cooking, you'd use tomato paste. Gives this a unique flavor. About three quarters of a coffee uh, cup measure of my 
Pop Daddy's butt glitter rub. Mix that in there. Now this stuff is very flavorful. It is. It needs to be because we're not putting, like in regular meatballs, we're not putting any spices in the meat. I learned that if you did put spices, onions, and whatnot in the meat, then the smoking situation with the bread crumb, crumbs tends to fall apart. So what we want to do is encapsulate this in this flavor. Now that is done. I'm going to turn the fire off and let this cool. Before I continue, I don't like to add this while it's cooking. I'm going to add two other ingredients to get this a unique, this little pesto that we're going to put inside of the uh, the meatball a nice taste. Okay, and that is we got Tito Puente Rind, which is also known as lime rind, and quite a nice helping of um, actually about half of that of cracked Larry Graham fennel seed that's also cracked in there. Mix that up. Get it good. Make it funky. Here's how we make this. Here's our sausage. I'm going to put a little bit of cheese in there. Okay. And a little bit of the flavoring in there. And then a little bit more cheese. I think the cheese is important in getting these things to stick together. And then what I like to do is flatten me out another cap to go over that. And then simply make it into one of your famous armadillo eggs. Or you could shape it into a meatball. It doesn't really matter. But you just want to make sure you do is you have a nice smooth outside uh, which will help that cheese, keep that cheese from melting outside of it. There's one. Oh, yeah.